Welcome back to iGEM Academy. Following on from our last video on editing iGEM wikis, we will now begin to cover the basics of HTML. HTML is a foundational markup language used for the basic text, layout and format of your wiki. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is composed of a series of tags, each surrounded by parentheses, as shown. A start tag and end tag differ by the presence of a slash, as shown. Each tag has a specific property, with the content between the start and end tags defining what is done. Also worth noting is that throughout this video and other videos where we will be working on coding, we will make use of the program brackets. Brackets will run and save any code we write. A link to download brackets is in the description. The first two tags we will look at are HTML and body tag respectively. The HTML tag is a prerequisite for any document at the beginning and at the end. A body tag defines any visible content that appears on screen. The two tags are applied as follows alongside a sample text to preview. Take note of both of their relative positions to each other as well as the difference between the start and end tags. The next tag we will cover is the H or heading tag. As the name suggests, this codes for any heading you wish to appear on screen with the number after H defining its size. An example of where this is used is as follows. Note smaller headings could be used by altering the number after H. For example, H2 is smaller than H1 and so on. The next tag we will review is the P or paragraph tag. This codes for any writing you wish to appear on screen. Each set of tags codes for an individual paragraph. The next tag we will cover is the A or reference tag. This is used to create a hyperlink. A hyperlink is blue coloured text that when clicked on leads to a URL. Its syntax is, so, is as shown on screen. The next tag we will cover is the image tag. As suggested by the name, this codes for an image to be projected on screen. Its syntax is as shown on screen with the SRC standing for source, alt defining what appears on screen should the image not be available, followed by the dimension in pixels. To alter the appearance of the text itself, for example, to create text in italics, the following tags are used. I is used for italics. EM is used for emboldened. These are placed at either side of the segment of text you wish to alter. The next tag we will cover are the table tags. Tables are defined with the table tag. Tables are divided into table rows with the TR tag. Table rows are divided into table data with the TD tag. 
A table row can also be divided into table headings with the TH tag. Style and border are also defined in the middle of the first table as shown. An example of applying a table tag is as such. The next tags we hope to deal with are as regards HTML lists, an important part for the coding of navbars. They can be either ordered or a numbered list or unordered. The next tags we hope to deal with as regards HTML lists are an important part for the coding of navbars. They can be either ordered or numbered lists or unordered. An unordered list starts with the UL tag. Each list item begins with the LI tag. The list items will then be marked with the bullets. An ordered list starts with the OL tag. Each list item starts with the LI tag. The list items will also be marked with numbers. An example of applying each is as follows. Per usual, take note of the general syntax. The code is then saved and previewed as such. Thank you for watching. Hopefully by the end of this video you should have grasped some of the basic functions of HTML and how various tags can be applied to your wiki. For our next video we will cover CSS, Cascading Style Spreadsheets, which is an important language for altering the presentation of your wiki.